Hi, this is Rochelle, and um, today I'm going to show you how to take all the information that you put together for your gig and put it on your WordPress, on your website, and sell it as your own product. And the reason I'm doing that is because I feel that um, it's a lot harder to be able to rank in Fiverr to begin with and you can create your own product, sell it on your uh, WordPress and start making money. So here we go, let's begin. The first thing that I want you to do is to go over to your Fiverr account and, and sign in. Go to um, your overview and look at your information. Look at your title. Now, I'm not saying look at anybody else's information. I'm saying look at your own information that you've already done and get your title. Copy. Go over to your WordPress into um, add a new post and you know where the posts are right there on the left and then you click add a new post and you put your title in here okay now you've already done the work you've already searched your keywords and um, this is what you're dealing with is right here Okay, you can change the title if you want, but I'm just keeping the title right now. Okay, um, if you've made a video to uh, go over and uh, click on your video, have your video running. Hi, this is Fresh. I'm just making a video, to, video show to show you that I have a videos here that I just made in the last couple of days that are ranking, that are ranking for keywords. For if you don't have your video so, uh, in uh, your, um, oops, if you don't have your video actually, and this video was not actually supposed to go, go up there, I put the wrong one up actually, but Anyways, this video um, I do have in my uh, computer, so I'm going to take this video now out of my uh, computer and um, add the video here in my WordPress. Now, if you don't have your video up, in YouTube, then um, you will have to add it another way, but I will show you an easier way right now, just very, very quickly. I'm just going to leave this site for a minute. Now, I find this is the easiest way to um, deal with your videos is just to upload it. Hi, this is Rochelle. Sorry. And, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. And this usually comes on, so I'm just going to shut that off. We're going to upload your video from your computer to your um, YouTube. So have your video here um, that particular video uh, that I did was um, I believe it was this one open it up now you now have your video here
Now you know how you took your title from your uh, Fiverr and you put it in your WordPress? You're now going to take your title and put it into your video. Title. Right there. So now you now have three titles that are on the internet. You have your Fiverr, you have your WordPress, and um, now you have this one here. And I put my title, my description, and a YouTube. Okay. Now, I pro probably, um, it might be easier for me. I already have keywords from my videos. So go and check out your videos and check out your keywords. If you have uh, vidIQ, it's, uh, it's very easy to do, and I'll show you. If you don't have vidIQ, then go to vidIQ and sign up. It, it's free. Um, uh, and and uh, you can keep the free version, or you can go to a paid version. Um, I have a paid version. I pay about ten dollars a month. It is the lowest plan, but um, it is one that uh, it's a good plan. Okay, so I actually want to go into, I guess. Look at keywords in here. My Fiverr introductory uh, video that I've already done. And um, when you go to vidIQ and you sign up, um, you'll then be able to put this on your um, on your uh, on your Chrome. So this will now become an extension on your Chrome. And you will also get information as to uh, what is happening with uh, your, your, your video as far as your score and everything goes. And for some reason, I see that my score is not up there. So I'm going to click on that. to save those changes and then click on this to and actually I'm not going to use this one because um, I just decided I, I'm going to use one of my higher ranking uh, videos so I'm going to go back over to here and um, And also, you can use the same keywords as me. If uh, you want, you can uh, use the same keywords. You can change them if uh, to suit what's relevant to uh, your own video. But yeah, use the same keywords oh, this is with the uh, yeah. vidIQ, uh, and I'll show you how to do that. I think this is one of the mine that's... Uh, that's uh, right now. So, you just go into the year. And once you sign up for the IQ, okay, so like I'm going to use some script here, and, and only because you guys are um, clicking my videos and subscribing. So, I just want you to have all of the information that you need. You see here, video tags. Okay. Um, I need you to go over to here once you've signed up for VidIQ to click on this, copy it to your um, a clipboard, and then um, go back here and go into your um, introductory video that you're just processing and put it all your keywords in here okay now you'll have to look inside here to see the 
the keywords and take out what's not relevant to you. Like for instance, my name. But you know what, you can keep my name if you want. That's fine with me too. Okay, uh, make money on Fiverr, how to make money, all that. This is all part of the tags that I've that I'm using okay however as you can see my t my title here is not good this is not really a good title to go on YouTube it may work on, on Fiverr or it may not, not work on Fiverr but not on on YouTube so I'm gonna take my title and I'm gonna go in here and paste it and see where does this take me okay so this is where it would take me is in here and here is my competition if I do use that So, it's up to me whether I want to try to rank for that or not, or whether you want to try to rank for the title that you have, or if you want to change it. And I, I want to change it up a little bit. So, not to, I will, is how. to do search engine optimization and to rank for um actually no I'm not going to change it because that that changes the whole uh, title of what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to keep it in here the way that it is. So and um, I'm just going to. I don't want to publish it yet as public. So I'm going to go private for now. Click done and see what my score is. Um, I'm going to go back into the video manager. Now, by this time, uh, um, I guess you would you should have gone to vidIQ, signed up, and now you will be seeing the same thing that that I am looking at for the information that you need for your videos. This is a video that I just downloaded. I'm going into the uh, the um, edit. Now, of course, I'm not publishing yet because I don't want it to go public at this time. But I'm just seeing where is my video as far as uh, vidIQ in the ranking. Okay, I'm just going to save the changes. Now this is going to be a longer um, tutorial than you're used to because we've got to cover a lot of ground in this tutorial. I was intending on doing a Fiverr tutorial, but on on doing the research into fiber I realized that I would not be able to give you the information that you needed in order to uh, rank on the first page of fiber because it's actually not possible until you have your first couple of reviews so it isn't something that is going to happen right away so in the meantime I'm giving you this information so that you can put 
put the information on your website and start selling your product as soon as possible. So I'm actually going to go into my WordPress because I, um, I clicked out of there. And I went in my first tutorial, tutorial for Fiverr, I showed you how to put these shortcuts down here. What these shortcuts are, and I'll just click into one to show you, is uh, on the three dots here, you have your information for uh, signing into different places that you need to go quickly on the internet. And you can edit your shortcut, you can add, you can remove move. So I'm just going to click into this one right here. And this is going to take me to my WordPress site. I actually hope that it's still open, but I, I don't think it is. I think it may need it is, it is still open. Good. Okay, so I want to go now into my dashboard. I want to go to my dashboard and, and um, into my post, all posts, to make sure that I haven't started a post without adding a new post. And um, just excuse me for one second, I have to go and lock the door. Okay, well this will give you time to have caught up with me. Okay, now I am into my post and I make sure that I have I'm not doing a double post there and I'm going add new. Because I didn't save the changes when I started it. And you have to remember you have to save the changes. Or you you will lose all your work and that's another thing I noticed with uh Fiverr. Was that um I did save the changes a number of times, and I still lost my work. So, so uh, that wasn't good either. So, now I'm um, going back into my my video that I just downloaded right here, and I just put the tags on. I'm now going to copy it and put it over here to my WordPress. Paste the top title in there, okay? Just now paste the title in there. Now, because I uploaded it to uh, YouTube, I will now be able to copy the embedded information, which is a lot easier than having to go into all kinds of um, video editing. So I'm just going to go here and uh, into actual uh, YouTube where my video will, will be playing. It actually um, it, it would take a little bit longer sometimes, but and uh, I'm going to uh, right click, copy, edit code to your WordPress that you already have open, you got a post, go into your text and put your text information, sorry, you put your um, video information in there and click save. So now we're now saving this draft. Now um, go back over to your I should shut this off. Go back over to your account into um, your own account. Um, again, I'm saying into your own account and not into anybody else's and 
take the information from your description that you're already that's already in there and right click copy back over to your post uh, sometimes I move too fast for my computer and it needs to catch up with me okay And then go, uh, where your information, do you want your information on top of your actual uh, video or on the bottom? I would say the bottom, put it in the bottom. Paste it in. Um, look at your categories here and see, does it fit anywhere? If it doesn't fit anywhere in your categories, create a new category. So. I'm going to create um, a new category which says uh, uh, my new products just to begin with my new products like I said this tutorial is going to be longer but it is going to be worth your time okay Add the category in. I'm showing you exactly what I do. I'm not holding anything back. I'm not asking you anything for it. I'm showing you everything. Save the draft. And then after that saved, you can then go into your uh, visual. And you should have your um, feeling, you'd have your um, your information and everything. Sorry. I need to my visual. There we go. Okay. There's my video. And, and there's everything playing. So there's me talking and saying um, a little bit about this product that I am selling okay that's the first that's the first step right there okay the second step is actually adding a product now in your WordPress site now I hope that this isn't going to be too complicated because you may not have the plugin so I'm going to show you the plugin you need uh, for your uh, WooCommerce and I'm just going to go to uh, plugin here installed plugins I'm going to show you two ways so I'm going to show you adding product actually on here and um, adding it another way. Okay, so uh, these are the, the the plugins, and and this is my plugin right here. It's called WooCommerce, and you would take this title here, copy it. No, I, I mean, sorry, if you already have it then it's already there but if it's not then I would I would just say go to your plugins and type this in not search installed plugins but um, add, add new plugin and that's at the left hand corner And then you should have a list come up of your uh, plugins that's available to you. Okay, now I've copied and pasted it, but basically you just type in 
WooCommerce. And you see, I will show you which, which one it is when it comes up. There's a number of them that you can choose from. This is the one that I have active right now. This one right here is active. So you would just click install now and then go through um, all, of, all of the different uh, um, actions that you need to take in order to get that installed. So once that is installed, you would go to your products and add new. The products will be found under WooCommerce as soon as you install the plugin and you just click the add new. It says add new product. You're going to go back, back over to your fiber site and you're going to go into your um, pricing. Now remember, this is something that you've already done. This is all your information. You put it all in here yourself. You're not copying anybody else's information. This is only yours. Okay? And uh, basically, you're going to copy this information. Actually, no, you can copy this information, but this is the way that their package is. I'd rather go to the description and go and copy this information right here because this is what's telling you about your product actually and um, this is the information that you need okay so you want to go in here and, and sorry make sure when you come in here that you are down far enough so that you're able to paste otherwise if you go into your text information right there, you'll see this right here. You could take these out if you wanted, but you won't see them unless you actually go into your text HTML and then you paste. Back into your visual. And um, there. You have that information that you just had and save the draft. Oops, forgot to give it the product name. Okay, so you give your product name and mine was called, I guess, uh, video. And I'm gonna change that because I want to make it more optimized. So I'm gonna put it uh, video search engine optimize. package just I'm going to use a uh, video search engine optimize ranking optimize CEO ranking uh, sorry SEO a uh, pranking <laughs> ranking Um, I, and I'm gonna I am gonna use tech with that because just for something to do. Okay, so there's my now my product name, my description. Okay, now, now as you can see, there is something else. This is called Yoast Search Engine Optimization. I accidentally just clicked into there and I didn't need to do that. So it just took place that. Okay. 
All right. I'm going to show you how to do how to do this plugin. All right. How to put this plugin in. You see because there's a lot more work that's involved that a lot of people won't show you because they'll try to uh, get you to buy it. So we're going to go to the actual add new. Even though I have it, I'm going to show you how to, where to get it. And then into here and just type in Yoast. And the plugin should come up. Okay, and this is the one that I use right here. It doesn't cost you anything, and you just plug that in. You just um, activate it and this will start. There is a few uh, different settings on it, but um, normally that's all you have to do. This just took me out of my out of my post without actually saving it, so I'm hoping I can get back in. Just took me out of my product without actually saving it. <laughs> Showing you how to do it. So, okay, it's still here. Wonderful. All right. So this will now give you the information that you need for your search engine optimization. It says here the readability is good, but the search engine optimization is not available. And the reason is because I have not edited this snippet here and I don't have a focus keyword, which is going to have to be in another tutorial right now. You can just check that out for yourself. Okay. okay. Um, so now adding the product. You can add it this a simple product way. Um, you can have a, a uh, regular price and then a sales price, or you can just have a, a regular price. So I'm going to go with uh, five dollars for my regular price, and I'm going to go with. Um, Four dollars for my sale price. Okay, so and and I'm actually going to save that because I don't want to lose it if I go somewhere else accidentally. Now this is a product short description, so this is where I'm going to go back into my product where I was from before. And this is my short description in here. I'm just going to take my own information. Now remember, this is your information. Don't don't copy other people's information because that is not right, and it's cheating. And I noticed when I was doing uh, the research on the fiber that. There's a lot of copying going on, and I don't agree with that, but, you know, everybody is entitled to the way that they would like to think, and I don't have anything to say about it. I just do what I do. And I've now put my short product description in there. And because I've already made um, a picture, which is right here, 
not my video, okay? It's It will be in my actual picture, which will be right there, right? You could either save your picture or you probably may have it on your computer. You could just download it from your computer um, into into your um, right over here on the left hand side you'll see product image just set product image and um, upload files select files and then you should have it in your computer if you've already put it on Fiverr and where do I have it and there we go right there I'm going to just open that. And the, the thing that I like about this is that you don't have to worry about the size because it's pretty much the right size. Okay, um, I just want to anchor some text. So I will take the title, copy that. Um, this will be my caption, my alt text, which is alternate text, um, say a picture doesn't come up, the text does, and the description, which I'm just going to now just put this in here as well, and set the product image. Okay, so there you go, you've now entered your own product. into here and now you're going to save your draft you've now created your own product in your WordPress using WooCommerce so this is kind of like a kind of big lesson but um, I hope that it's been, a, it's been helpful to you we're not done yet there's still a couple more steps to go. Okay, so I've now created my, my product. I would like to view my product. So I'm clicking up here. I want to see what my product looks like. I, I just hope that this is going to be to you. Because, you know, after doing all the research that, that I've done so far, um, I've realized that it's going to be harder to be able to rank in Fiverr. So, why not start by putting your own product on your website? There you go. Now, the product is now live on my website right here, as you can see. And if I click into this, I've already linked my um, uh, my PayPal, which I should do a tutorial on actually installing WooCommerce, but you can just follow the directions. But here is your first product, right there. Okay, but we're not done yet. Okay, because we still have this, which is right here. Now. What are we going to do with this? We're going to go back into edit the video. For some reason, I have got six of these open, and this is actually not good. So I'm just going to duplicate that and close that. Okay, that was not the right thing to do either. Okay, so I'm going to go back into here. Because I only want one of them opened. I don't want six.
This is Rochelle and Dalva. Um, into my... My this isn't going to run too, too long because um, I don't want to uh, lose you here. Um, into uh, the video I just downloaded, which is into my edit. Now I'm going to take um, my description that I just made because I'm keeping all of the, the keywords the same and I'm just going to copy this. Whoops. I may have to go into my post to copy it, but I'm just going to copy this information. Or it, it might be actually easier to uh, to get it from um, from Fiverr. Fiverr. I'm just gonna go into here. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go over here to my video, and now I'll put it here because I've optimized my keywords. Now, I also want to make sure that I have the same keywords that I was using. So, I'm going to go back here into my overview. Make sure that I have these keywords here. Now, these are my own keywords. Remember, I'm not copying anybody else's keywords. This is all the work that I have done so far. And I'm at 494, but that's okay. I am going to just paste them in there. Now, I do have, uh, I'm, I am over. You, you can only have 500, a score of 500 in here. So I am over. And, and this really is not appropriate, uh, how to make money. I believe how to make money on fire with no skills. That's not appropriate for me. I would like to take that out of there. Because you do have to use relative keywords. You can't you can't use words that have no relevance. I can see that this is uh, not a good score right there. This video is going to take a while for me to be able to get it to rank, I, I'm going to have to put on some, um, we're going to go through all of that, but uh, anyways, that's it, that's it right there, and I probably have to change this title, because if I check out this title right now, and I look at what my competition is doing, I am going, uh, it, it's not going to work, so. I'm just going to uh, save this, and because I accidentally have six of them open right there, I'm going to close that because this this is going to become a problem. So the changes are saved. But it says the changes are saved. No, I can't save it because my tags are too long. I still have too many tags in here, so. I'm going to take that one out and that one out. I'm um, see what's like, you know, basically, it's not about making money on Fiverr. It's about making money on your own website. It's about adding products. And 
it's also about WooCommerce. Okay, I also talked about plugins. Uh, no, my description is going to be totally wrong now because now my uh, also my my keywords have changed. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just showing you basically how to do it, um, and it's still score is very low. So there's more work that needs to be done in here. And especially this title. This title has to go. It's so wrong. Okay. Um, looking at my keywords. Oh. Okay. That is not good. Those keywords are <laughs> obviously not good. Um, Video marketing YouTube search engine optimization um, I need to have a look at this description. I don't really like this description here. Oops. Okay. gonna take that out take this out for now because I don't really like it this is my process I'm sorry I don't mean to take your time I don't have to use the white YT anymore I can now use YouTube video good strong title strategic description is the best video search engine optimization you can have. Whereas they say you use YouTube too much in um, Fiverr, so you can't use it. Uh -uh, choose the best keywords help you to rank in YouTube. Here they don't say you're using too many of the same keywords because you're describing YouTube. This keeps your video relevant and engaging and to be seen. Okay, and then the, the social sites. Okay, so that's actually a little bit better. And I'm going to save the changes. Oh, my title can't be empty, so now we're going to use some keywords for the title. Um, You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the uh, fiber alternative. That's what I'm gonna call it. And I know that I may get into a problem with that, but that's exactly what it is. Because I know that I, I know, I know that I will not uh, be able to rank in Fiverr Fiver right away. So I'm doing this, and I'm showing you as my subscribers how to do this. And I think it's uh, it's totally appropriate. Okay, well, we don't need that in there because this is referring to the same channel here that I'm already on. However, I can now put my sharing sites in Pinterest. See how that score is going up right there? Facebook. Ooh, it just came down. No, it just went up again. 
Um, uh, also, I like to relevant. And then how to. because that is quite relevant. Um, you see how the score is going up right there? It's now up to 36 and I'm feeling a lot better and getting happier about it. I'm now going to uh, save the changes and I'm going to check my title out. See this is a, a rather long process in actually getting up there but I'm showing you everything all at once so I hope that I am not confusing you at all because um, th that's not what I want to do I don't want to confuse you I, I want you as my subscriber and has been a, a, as being loyal to my channel for me to get all the information information you need in order to succeed because you deserve it you're helping me out with uh, my channel by liking and subscribing and helping you out with your business okay let's see whoops it did something that I didn't want it to do okay so I am just going to to go here, take that out, save that, this is my competition right here that I'm looking at. And because this is a very stiff competition right here, I'm going to change my title. I'm going to put in front of here, best. Oops. P E. Oops. I do wear glasses. B E S T. Best alternative post to WordPress. Um, I'm also going to put the keyword in here. See, I'm trying to go fast so that I'm not taking up all your time. Best alternative. Here we go. 48. We're getting up there. Oh, and my keywords are too long here. I have too many keywords. I'm over by six. I'm going to take this out. Or adventure good okay now we have a chance of ranking I'm gonna take my title again and check it out and see what my competition's doing and I, of course I've changed the title now a little bit in order to be competitive Oh, you know what? I haven't even published it yet. I was wondering why I didn't even see it. I've not published it. It is still private. Let's publish it and see where we end up.
Okay, time to find out where we are. It's going to take a couple minutes to um, to uh, propagate here. I'm just going to give it a couple minutes because I should be on this page right here. And for some reason, I do not see my site. Oh! looks like this competition is a little bit stronger than what I thought it was. I'm going to change this again. Oh wait, I didn't change the title. Didn't change this title here. See, and that makes a difference too. You, you need your title and your description the same. Okay. It's still at 48. It's not strong. Okay. No, I don't want to take your time. I will eventually rank for this video here, and I will do another tutorial showing you that I am ranking for this. Um, but it does take a little bit of tweaking. It doesn't happen right away, but I mean I should actually still be up. It's still propagating. I need to do some more tutorials, but I am going to do a, another tutorial on, um, on getting the video to rank. But right now, let's go back and do the edit. Um, we now have our product uh, that's done. We saved it. Now we're going to publish that. And now I am going to uh, show you what to do with it in order to, uh, to get more free traffic. We're going to go into um, our back to our video. 
okay? Um, and I want to show you how to create a card. We're going to go to cards. I do want to see what the end of this is. This video is only 28 seconds long. But I am going to give it more value by creating cards. So we're going to start with uh, a playlist. You create a playlist, or there is a playlist that's already been created. Uh, that's the playlist on how to make. Now, I am going to use um, my tutorial one. I'm going to customize it. Um, like, please like and subscribe, and then uh, tutorial two. No, this is tutorial two. I was just, uh, was just gonna say um, thanks. More to come. I think so much better when I'm not recording. Okay, so now this card is now going to play. may not be able to put an end screen on here. This card is now going to play there. Okay, so I've now, um, now I'm going to add another video or playlist. And I'm going to add this one. And this was my first one that, um, I made. Now, it's going to play pretty pretty close to it. And you, you will see that if I turn this on, where it comes up. See this right here? This right there? Okay, that is, if you click on that, you will then see the two videos that I, I just put up. And that's how you add more value to um, to your video. Okay. Now, I'm going to, this automatically saves, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm going to go into the, I don't think I'm going to be able to make an end screen. Because this video may not, not be long enough. A, a very very short video because you know basically I was just talking about my um, my product that I had on fiber. Okay, so am I going to, to yes yes I am going to be able to make an end screen. So I, I will add an element and this comes in the last twenty seconds. And I'm just going to say best for the viewer so they can choose. I'm going to create the element. And I'm just going to have this coming. Um, this is limited because, um, because of the size. But I can add another element element, I can add a subscribe, or I could add a channel. Now, you have to make sure these are not overlapping, or you will not be able to to uh, add your element. And there's a good possibility that I'm not going to be able to, because... No, 
I'm not going to be able to add to. The video is too short. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to just take out one. I'm going to take out the... I don't think I can take out the playlist without adding it. I don't think I can add a subscribe without adding the playlist. No, I can't. However, I can try to add the subscribe first and then possibly the playlist, uh, the, um, playlist. Or, sorry, the, yes. Um, I've not done this be before with, with such a short video, so I don't think I'm going to be able to add those two elements together. No, I'm not. So I'm just going to, to take it out because I can't add it. I'm just going to delete the element. I think I can just keep the playlist. Okay. Just going to save that. Now this is going to add value. But before we go back and check it, I want to show you what I do. I I use Creative Commons, so I allow people to use my video if they want. You can use it. You can use part of it. You can change it. You can do whatever you want with it. Into the advanced settings, and here it says standard YouTube license. I change that to the Creative Commons, which means anybody has the uh, creative license to use it. This is something that I have not noticed before. Allow the live chat. And the recording date was today. And I want to save the changes. Okay, so now this is going to give my uh, video value. Okay? So, it's now got checklist 5 out of that I've done and um, as soon as it propagates I'll be able to see I know I shouldn't keep checking to see where it is but I always do that it's, it's always good to do it's just to see where your competition is and where you are to see what whether what people are looking at and whoops okay okay now as you can see there i am right there i'm now ranking number three here okay so as soon as i get the video ranking what i'm going to do is i'm now going to go into my wordpress uh, and into um, my sorry into my dashboard um, to my post I know it sounds complicated, but once you start doing it all the time, it won't be that complicated. And I'm giving you everything all at one time. So, I mean, I hope you're excited to know all of this information. All the secrets that I'm giving away. Okay, so pretty much we are right here.
I just clicked edit into my post. Okay, why is this important? Because now we have to take the information from the post and put it in the information on the video because otherwise we'll be clicking into your product. And I went into the wrong product. Sorry. This, this was not my post I wanted to go into. I wanted to my post that I was making the product. Because I made a post, I made a product, I made the video, and made sure the, the video was going to rank in order to be seen. So there it is right there. It's still in draft form. Now I have to make sure that I have the same information on my post here that I have on my video. So I'm now taking the title. into my edit. You see how I've been, um, oops, that is my product, into my edit. You see how I've been tweaking it? That's what you have to do. Because uh, in, in order to rank, you have to figure out where's the best placement, what are the best keywords. Um, now, oh, I just noticed my search engine optimization just went down, which is not good. Oh no, this is, I haven't done it yet. Okay. So this is my post. What is happening in here? Because I thought I put some information in here and it doesn't seem to be in here. Something is not right. I go into my text. I just want to save this and find out what's happened to my post. Because I've been jumping all over the place now, and I've gotten out of my, my, my post and everything. See, that's what happens sometimes when you have to work in all different uh, platforms. So sometimes you may, if you don't save your work, you will lose it. Like, I believe I just did. I think I've lost some of this work here. I don't think I'll be able to get this back. No, but that's okay because I can just put it in again. So I can just go into my video and actually I'll go to the one that's here in real time. It's now moved up to the second spot. And I'll take the information from here. It's also not going to show me when, what my video is at uh, in the in the video ranking system of uh, vidIQ. Yeah, I'm, I'm Forty-eight points. Up. It's not really a good score, but it is a ranking score. Copy. There we go. Now, that's the wrong video up again. I didn't want to say the oops when the cat jumped off my lap, but okay. Going to test. If you guys I need to see what's happening in here. Into the paste. Uh, back to visual. I know if my video back here. 
Okay, so now there's my video. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm going to see the categories. I think I did put another category in here. Actually, it, it can go in the category how to post, and it could also go into. Could also go in the category start a business, but I'm also going to put it in its own category as well, which is the this one here. See, I'm trying to do all of this all at once in a quick time so that it's not taking up so much time for you. And then I am going to add my category in here, paste that in there, add to category. I hope I'm not going too fast. Okay. Now, you'll also notice there's something down here. It's tags. So where are you going to get your tags from? You're going to go back to video. Remember I, I told you to download the uh, vidIQ. So you get the clip mark here. Clip that back to your post over to your post. Oops, that is that is a product. What did I do here? No, change something. Product. I don't really want that. I want this to stay the way it is. Okay, but I just want to. I don't want this in here. Don't want it in uncategorized. Never put it in uncategorized. I'm gonna add a new category. Now I'm, I'm just gonna say a video. Search engine optimization. Okay, and I'm just going to add that in there. So, my new product uh, category. See how easily you can get confused when you're jumping all over the place? Okay. Okay, so now this product is completely ready except for the search engine optimization, which I still have to do on it. Okay. Anyways, we're going to go into my post. This is my post now, okay? And like I said, here are my tags, okay? I'm just going to right click this, click paste. And as you can see, my tags didn't go in. Or they're still going in, one or the other. Let's just see. There we go. There's the tags. All right. So now we now have our tags. We have our category. Uh, the readability isn't really good. I would, I'm gonna have to tweak that. But pretty much, that's done. And I want to publish it just to show you. Okay. Now, once that's done, I want to get the short link right here. No. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. Whoops. And there's two things that that I can do. Sorry, I have paused. The Okay, there's two things I can do. I can get the short link from here, which is right there. Copy that. So now, this is now, I'm going to go over to here. And the product that I'm talking about 
I'm just gonna put get your video tech here Let your video tech here and uh, put the the link that's in there from my post okay there's one more thing that I that I do have to do I have to create a thumbnail so with the vid IQ you can see here thumbnail editor you also get in YouTube as well, and I'm just going to use other image. I'm going to use my image that I used. I know this is a lot, and I hope that it, it's helpful to you. Okay, and I'm just going to pull that up. Um, one thing that I like to do is I like to use my exact same title. So I'm going to duplicate that so that I can work with both of them at the same time. And it may have actually taken me out of there, but that's okay because I can always download it again. And I'm just going to take this and I'm going to go put this in there. Pop it. And then hopefully I'm still up. Good. We're gonna go click next. And I'm just gonna enter my text in enter text in here. Um you can either enter it all at once or enter it word by word. It's up to you. But this is white, so you want to turn that to black. And if you want to use bold, you can also use bold. It's, it's 24. You can see what 24 looks like. We'll just use a little bit of a border on there. And I usually use like five. I could do it in a blue or a black. I'm going to do it in a black. I'm just going to enter this text here. And as you can see, there is a problem in there, but that's okay. Because all you got to do is take it out. Alright, now um, I can take this and I can actually separate it if I uh, if I wanted to like move it down here um, and then make the the words bigger here. I can uh, move it up if I want to if I have too much space in there just by doing the uh, delete which was a silly thing for me to do at the time so I'm trying to I'm trying to move too fast and it's not good because you do have to think and I don't want that right under the YouTube right there either. So you know what? I, I am just going to take this out for now. I'm just going to take this out. I'm just going to cut that and use this here. Like right there. Um, I'm going to make it bigger so that Okay, so here it's bigger. I'm going to change it into a different color, I think. I don't like the black. And I don't like that color either. Blue. I like the blue, but... Hmm, I don't really like the... Um, 
Anyways, I don't want to take a lot of time with this. So I just want to make something that looks a little bit more attractive. And then I'm going to put down here the rest of the text, which is the uh, post. Oops, post. Oh. Just going to type it in. Close to WordPress. Okay, and, and um, I'm going to change that to blue. There we go. And I'm not sure if it was capital or not. And then I guess a little bit of a border. And there we go, it's right here. Close to WordPress and uh, There we go. I think that's good. Except for it, it does look a, a little bit. Um, it's not the right font. Okay, and it, and it should be a little bit bigger. Just a little touch bigger. Okay, so how's that? Do you want? Okay, I can fool around with this while you're you're watching, and it's not good that I do that because it's just taking your time. But I did want it a little bit bigger. And I don't like that. See, this should actually be on the top, and then this should be a little bit down here, and then I guess, look, we could move this one over just a little bit more, but then it's kind of in the way of YouTube. We could just do that, and then I want to get in there somehow. So the reason I can't get in, there we go. All right, so that's just the way it is right now till I I fix it and then uh, save. I, I don't really like it. There's too much. It's too busy, but it's good enough for now. And I'm just going to close that. That should have actually added more value to this as well. Okay, the second thing that I want to do was to take my actual that's my visual right there and go see I don't I don't like this I don't really like it, but I can change it later. Um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to get where my, my product was, the permalink, and there it is right there. If I copy this link address, okay, we won't take it to the tiny URL right now. We're just going to take it here so that just to make sure that it's working okay. The link is not broken. And then it should come up. The website should come up. And this is what you should see when I go into here. And uh, I use a program. It's called Grammarly. It's a very good program download that program so that you can use for yourself I'm just going to put the link up here um, you know I'm just going to say uh, 
I'm going to put the link in first. Okay, I don't like this link, but there's nothing I can do right now because I would shorten it, but it will take time. Um, and then I want to get the exact title that I used, which is right there, over to here. Whoops. Into what did I do? That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's actually called Video Tech Ranking, Video CEO Ranking Tech. But I just want to take that just to move it over here, get that up there, and then with the link there. And with that, I want to save the changes. And uh, there you have your finished uh, product. It's now on your WordPress. It's on uh, YouTube. It's still on Fiverr. And uh, now you have like three times the, uh, the amount of um, choice that people have to reach you. So I hope this has been helpful to you. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe because um, every everything helps. Every like, every subscription helps. And I'm going to be making more of these tutorials. So thank you for uh, being a great audience. And I hope I've, I hope I've helped you out a lot. Okay, I also noticed something else here now. Um, because I didn't give it an actual, I didn't actually put it anywhere. It's not showing up. So we gotta go back into the the dashboard. And I will show you where to put it. It'll show up in the shop, but it won't show up on the website. So I want to show you if you go to um, your appearance and your themes and then to your menu. I know this is a lot, and thank you for staying with me. And I hope I've been able to show you a lot of things today. I'm giving you all my knowledge. Okay. So, in our menu, we're going to go to the menu structure, and I'm going to see where I want to put it. I think I want to put it in, in this menu here. So I'm going to click pages and I'm going to find my page that I just made. Oops, sorry, it's not pages, it's posts. I'm going to find the posts that I just made uh, right there. I'm going to add it to the menu. And I'm going to add it. I think I'm just, for now, I am just going to add it to the menu. I'm not going to add it like anywhere else, just to the menu. I'm going to actually change the, the order. And I'm going to save my menu. Now, uh, just a quick thing. You can do 
menus by pulling this in a little bit and then it becomes a sub item. Okay, so now let's visit the site and hopefully this goes over. Ah, there's just one more thing that I do want to show you with your uh, WooCommerce. And then we're done. So I'm just visiting the site now. And it should be coming up. And if I click on that. And hopefully I've got everything in place and I haven't missed anything. And I should be able to see your future. It's in there again, and I really don't want that. And I also noticed it's got all its tags on it, which I really don't want that coming up either. Either, but that's okay. We won't worry about that right now. Okay, so that's in there. And now, if you click over here to shop, it should also be in your products. Ah, something happened. That's not good. Oh, it came up. Oh, here it is right here. There it is right there. In my products. Okay. So, there you go. Everything's done. You've got your, your um, oops, I'm using a save that change now. You have your video that you made for uh, Fiverr. It's now on YouTube. Um, you also have your, uh, your links to your website and to your product. You could also put your, your uh, Fiverr link as well if you wanted to. Which is a good idea because you are on Fiverr. So you should put your link in. And... Let's just see where we are. Unless I have two of the same ones open, and then uh, I won't be able to show you right now. It does look like I have two open. Okay, let's just type it in. T. These are my keywords. Oops. Hopefully it'll show me the results that I want to see. If not, I have some tweaking to do. And there it is right there with a the thumbnail. And we are at number three. We have um, all our information in here. If we click, see, and there we are down here in uh, vidIQ in trending videos. So there we are down there as well. So. There you go. All right. So with that, I will now end this tutorial. And I hope that everything has been helpful to you. And have yourself a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.